What's up guys, Dani here. Today we're gonna be doing a killer upper body workout including strength, skills, abs, everything. Let's get to it. So let's start with your neck up and down. Then side to side. And right to left. Important to always do the warm up, do it correctly, stretch, important before exercising always. And also have a drink with you. Normally drink water or clear whey protein from my protein, but whatever you want, perfect. So let's do shoulders now, back. To the front, now what we're going to be doing is bring our arms up to the back, round and round, and every time you go to the front, let's just stretch to the front. Now the other way around, number eight. Okay, now we're gonna do crossovers. Basically, close and open, and every time we open, we put our palms to the ceiling, every time we close, to the floor, and then we switch arms up and down, easy. Last one of this ones, we're gonna be trying to touch the ceiling. Tiptoes, then up, Ooh. again, up, up. Try to open your shoulders, that's what we wanna do with this exercise, you can see it from the side. Now we're gonna stretch our back, teapot, side, look up to the ceiling, stretch, breathe, super important, breathe, always breathe. Now try and reach as far as you can with your hand. Breathe. Now down to your foot. Try to push your chest into your leg, not your head, your chest. Now same to the other side. Look up, breathe. Now reach out. Now down to your foot. Okay, last one, we're gonna be putting our feet together, bum to the back, gonna do it on from the side, bum to the back, hands to your legs, and then roll down, touch the floor. If you can touch the floor very comfortably, you can try and hug your legs, I can't, so I'll just stick with this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and go as low as we can with a kind of straight back, looking to the front. Stretch, try to reach out a little bit. And now palms to the floor and try to stretch up your legs as much as you can. Don't let your hands get off the floor. Okay, warm up done. Make sure you have your water. 
For this, we're basically going to need one of these resistance bands. If you don't have one, I'll put another exercise out that you can replace it with. And a towel for your knees or a yoga mat, wherever you have at home, everything's fine. So yeah, let's get started with the workout. We're gonna start with bent over rows with the resistance band. And we're gonna superset it with push-ups. For me, I'm gonna do, for this video, sorry, I'm gonna do some push-up progressions, okay? So that people that can't do push-ups or that can't do them with the correct form can actually do this too. So we're gonna start with the bent rows. I'm gonna do them from the side. You will not be able to see this better. So you put your feet in the resistance band to the, like align with your hips, okay? And then you're gonna grab the resistance band here as low as you can. We don't want it to be like loose here. We want it to be here, very tight. The position of our back is gonna be like we were doing a deadlift. So straight, core tight. Don't look to the front, look to the ground. Just try and maintain a straight line position, okay? And then what we're gonna do is take our, put our shoulders to the back, like this. I'm gonna do 10 of these three sets. So as an alternative, guys, what we're gonna be doing is an isometric bodyway row. What we're gonna do is get a couple of chairs, grab the edge of the chairs, sink your feet into the ground, elevate your hips and then elevate the rest of your body we're gonna keep these for 10 seconds every time and we're gonna be doing three sets so let's start one two three four If you can do push-ups, then do 10 push-ups. If not, we're going to do 10 push-up progressions, which basically go in the following way. Start as a normal push-up. You do a normal push-up negative. Put your knees to the ground and come up. And move the towel a little bit. And then we can start. Let's go. One. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, guys. Oh, this is hard. Okay, so we're gonna rest now for a minute approximately before we do the same thing again. Two times now, okay? This is really hard. Make sure your core is tight all the time. For the push-ups, make sure you're also not looking too much to the front because you want your head to be aligned with your spine and your neck. That is really important because otherwise you can injure yourself very easily and we don't want that really. Have a little sip of water. You should too. Now that we know how the exercises go, we're gonna jump straight into it whenever the clock starts. Okay, let's do it again. Get into your minute this time. This way, it's a bit more comfortable. Some of you at least be more comfortable. Deadlift position, looking at the ground. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Push-ups. Okay. Let's start. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Minute rest, guys. Let's have some more water. Oh, this is really tiring in the arms. This workout is going to kill you. You'll see. Wait for it. This is just the beginning. Getting in position again, okay? Okay. So that we're ready. Sorry. I'm gonna do it this way. We still have 10 seconds, okay? So it's just about getting that position right. Okay. Three. Back straight. Two. One, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. Last set of push ups. You can do it. You know it's hard. Let's kill this, yeah? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. It's the first part of the workout. You did it. I'm sweating already. This is really hard. We're going to rest again. We're going to rest a little bit more. We can do a minute and a half. Next thing that's coming is front bridge raises, super seated, why not, with flutter kicks. So this is more of the core part, okay? Let me explain a little bit how it goes before we start with the sets. So, front bridge raises, basically, what you wanna do is put your hands in line with your shoulders, okay? And left straight, Tuck up, and when you tuck up, we'll get from the side there, okay? Here, you go as up as you can, okay, with your bum, and then you raise your, one of your legs. So this is the exercise. And we're gonna do the same with both legs. 10 on one leg, 10 on another leg, okay? And then flutter kicks. Flutter kicks, what we're gonna do is, it's basically lying down, okay? Put your uh, back up a little bit, feet up, and then go like this, up and down, okay? And then we're gonna do 20 of these. But 20 of these means this is one, this is two, okay? It's like every two, it counts as one, okay? A couple more seconds rest. Gonna have another drink. Guys, drink, always breathe during your exercises. Make sure and think every time that you're in the correct position and your core is tight so you're protecting your back. Super important. Okay, a couple seconds more so I can catch my breath. 
and we can uh, kick off with the next one, okay? Let's get into position. guys three two one let's go one two three core tight four five six seven eight nine ten switch legs one two three four, five, six, seven, bum up, eight, nine, ten, good, turn around, you can do it the same, the same side, but I just like switching sides, and now, flutter kicks, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Oh, that's intense. Okay, guys, minute rest from now. Have some water. Breathe, rest. Take a deep breath. So second and third set are gonna be a bit more difficult because your abs are gonna start burning loads. But just keep up, try to keep the form right. If you have to do it slower, do it slower. Doesn't matter, pause the video. Don't skip anything though, don't be sneaky. But if you need to do it slower, just stop it or just take a breath if you need to rest. The most important thing is the form, that the form is right and that you breathe and that you're okay. Okay, Okay. five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's go guys. One, two, three, four, five, core tight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch foot. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, switch sides. Give you a second to rest. And water kicks. Let's go. One, two, three. for all the panting in advance. But this workout is hard, I must say. So, oh, just have a rest. Walk around if you want a little bit. Nice your trousers. A little stretch. Drop your arms. Relax a little bit. Let's kill our last set, yeah? Let's start. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. Three, two, one, go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Last set of flutter kicks. Zoos, yeah? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done, guys, and well done, knees, for killing this. This is not over, unfortunately. We're halfway through, I would say. A little bit more than halfway through, to be honest. Um, but next, we're gonna be practicing some skills, some gymnastic skills, very basic gymnastic skills. They're quite tricky, though, and quite hard, but yeah. Just make sure your core is tight, as I said before. Head in line with your spine. Don't put it down, don't have it up. Always neutral position, okay? Raise position, shoulders always back, okay? Important to keep that in mind for the next exercises. Next one, we're gonna be doing a bent arm planche support, okay? Sounds really tricky but it's really easy, conceptually. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort, but it is doable and we're gonna kill it. So I'm gonna explain it before we start so you can have a little bit of a longer rest. You need it, I feel like I need it. We're gonna start, it's like a push-up, okay? But we're gonna hold the push-up at the bottom and hands are not gonna be like this. So normally, when we're doing a push-up, our hands are like this. In this case, our arms are going to be facing sideways, okay? So right into the left, not to the front. So that's a bit of the tricky part. And what we're going to be doing is holding initially for 10 seconds, if not as much as you can, okay? Don't worry about it. We're going to try and hold it down. So we're going to start doing like a negative push-up, push-up negative. Um, like this and we're just gonna be staying here as much as we can okay initially 10 seconds but let's see how long we last so let's get start because I think our rest is done hands to the sides core tight okay back straight Neck in a neutral position, and let's go. Okay, very good guys. Have a little rest. This time we're gonna do a bit less, 30 second rest, okay? Then we're gonna do the next one. This one's a bit less long. It's just about the skill. So I'm gonna do it like in a diagonal, so you guys can see it. another angle. We have 15 seconds now. Rest if you need a little bit of water. Grab your water, drink a little bit. Drink small sips. Don't fill yourself with water. And let's go, second time. Okay. sure is that our elbows are as tight as we can okay as tight as to the body as it can so don't do it like this okay don't do it like this try to put them try to go down and have them as close as the as you can to the body okay okay so 
another 10 seconds and we go for the third round. I know this is hard, but it will help you out a lot with your arm strength, shoulder strength, everything to do push-ups, to actually eventually do a plunge. So yeah, let's do it. Last time. Position, core tight, straight line back, and let's go. Well done guys, awesome. We finished this skills, skill set. And now we're going back to core. And now we're gonna do a little bit of core compression, which seems a bit tricky in the beginning, but as, like, as soon as you start practicing, it's gonna be fine, believe me. So in this one, we're gonna do seated leg lifts, okay? Individual ones, so one at a time. What we're gonna be doing while we're resting, I'm gonna show you, is what you want to do is put your fingertips past your knees. Try to go far, okay? Around your knee area, a little bit below. So you put your fingertips there. Point your toes, okay? Core tight. And you, what you want to do is lift your leg. One leg, other leg, other leg, other leg. Leg straight. Try to keep them straight, okay? That's important. And it's just up, up, up. We're gonna do 10, and this counts as one. So we're gonna be doing 20 in total, okay? 10 per leg. Let's have a little drink before we start again. We're not gonna superset this with anything, so that's okay. A bit better than the beginning. Yeah, so now we get into position, okay, arms to the front, point your toes, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done, guys. 30 seconds rest, because this one's shorter. Just grab some water if you want. You can stand up a little bit while we rest. You can have a little stretch wherever you want. Make sure that for these ones, you're not straight, okay? You don't you don't want to do this. You don't want to lay back in your arms. You want to barely have any support with your arms so that everything is compression of the core, okay? The next set, I'm gonna do it this way so you can see another angle, okay? And let's do this, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes. A little bit of a rest. Thirty seconds again. Just breathe. Stretch a little bit if you want. Whatever you feel best doing, just doing this 30 seconds. Okay, let's go back. Last set, guys. A bit from front here. So you have another angle. Okay, getting put to position, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done, guys. We're almost done. Almost done with the exercises. Last one. It's easy, or you might consider it easy, but it's just to strengthen your shoulders so that you can do push-ups easily, like a lot like the bent arm one that we just did before. It will help with your shoulder strength to do push-ups, to do a lot of skills that will be super useful and will make you look super strong. So yeah, these ones are called scapula push-ups. I said, basically, they are like a push-up. Let me position myself here better. They're literally just push-ups with the, with the shoulders. So we're gonna be going down and up. Down, arms straight, try to keep your arms straight. It's really difficult to keep them straight. So just compressing, releasing, compressing, Releasing. Okay, this is our finishing exercise. So we're gonna do 10 every time. Should be simple, should be a little bit, give you a little bit of rest, but still always remember core tight, back straight, head on head in line with your spine and arms straight for this one, guys. Remember that's super important. So let's put ourselves into position, okay? I'm gonna do the first one. First set, I'm gonna do it from the side so you guys can see. Get into position, go tight, come down, don't put your bum too up or too down. Neutral, braced, okay? So let's start, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Effort. Seems very easy, but at the end, because you're working slowly on your shoulders, it really works them out and it really makes it burn a lot. So don't worry about it. It's supposed to feel like that. You're not hurting yourself. Just make sure your form is correct and you'll be fine. Second set, let's go. You do it from a diagonal point of view now, so you have a different, uh, different perspective. Hands facing to the front, okay. Ooh, sorry. Right here. Core tight. Bum a little bit down and neck straight. Yeah, arms straight. Remember, guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. 30 seconds. Let's give it a little rest. Your shoulders. We're almost done. Last set now, and we are done. At the end of each workout, don't forget to stretch also. It's important. I'm not going to guide you through it because it's going to be basically the same as you did at the beginning. So I guess you know now. Uh, so you can just do it at the end of the workout. It's just a couple minutes, but it's really important so that you're less sore, so that you don't have any, like, create any injuries. Okay. Okay. Guys, last set. Get into position. Okay, back in straight line as always, core tight. Let's go guys, three, two, one, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Awesome guys, we're done with the workout. Don't forget to stretch, as I said before, super important. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, comment in the box below, anything you want, any suggestions, questions, ideas. I'll see you very soon. I'll be posting more videos like this very, very soon, every week. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to get them all the time. Thank you guys. See you very soon.